Hey everybody. I would say good morning, but it's pretty much noon now, and I was supposed to um, go live and show how to make um, Greek yogurt in the Instant Pot, and my morning did not go like I had planned, but I'm here. I, um, I'm trying to go live now because it couldn't take like up to eight hours to make the yogurt, so i um, trying to get this done before uh, we go to bed. So, it's very simple. Take your Instant Pot. Uh, I also suggest um, scrubbing it really well. I have been doing a lot of savory dishes and I made some, I made pinto beans in this a couple of times recently and so it had that kind of odor. So I scrubbed it uh, really good and that scent is now gone. So start with a really clean uh, pot and when, um, I guess we'll start with this. Okay, so um, this is my uh, starter. We don't need it yet. So I was going to show you in the beginning what I'm going to use for my um, yogurt to help create yogurt. And you have to have one that says um, live cultures. I think that's what it says over here. Um, so, so I'm rushing. We've got so many things to get done today. Uh, out of breath, running around. Okay, so last time I did this, I used whole milk. And so, of course, my um, Greek yogurt then became an S because I use full fat milk. This time, and I'm not sure what the numbers are, I'll have to crunch them later. Um, do, I'm trying it with 2% milk um, and see if that works. So, I'm going to pour a half a gallon in here. You can, if your um, Instant Pot will hold a whole gallon, you can do a whole gallon. A little bit more. Okay. But it's going to take a lot longer to make um, a whole gallon of yogurt, and with me trying to get this done at 12 o'clock, uh, it's not. I'm not going to have time. So what I did is I just poured in a half a gallon. We're going to plug in the instant pot, and then on mine, and I'll have to see which model I have. You find the. I'm going to be off screen. You find the yogurt button. And it's on boil because I had just messed that. But if yours doesn't say boil, then you push adjust. And then it will say boil. You put your lid on. And it doesn't have to be sealed. Like the, the not the seal, it doesn't have to have the valve closed to make yogurt. So basically what we're having, what was happening now is the Instant Pot is going to scald our milk. And... It will, when it beeps, when it's done with the boil part, uh, we'll let it sit here for five more minutes and then we'll take the lid off and let the milk um, cool down some. And then we will skim the top. I did not do that last time and it was really disgusting. When you're eating food like yogurt and then all of a sudden you have this stringy thing in your mouth, it was nasty. I'm, so don't be like me and not skim the top. So basically, we'll skim that little skin of, of yogurt, I get milk that gets on top, put that in the trash. We'll add two tablespoons of our starter and then set it back up. So I'm gonna end this one now. And then when this is done, I'll come back and show you what it's like then. And then after it cools down, I'll come back and then I'll come back with the final product. So this will be, I'm guessing about four videos today and none of them should take long. Uh, the, the long part is the waiting process of making yogurt because you have to wait for it to incubate. Um, hopefully this is helpful uh, and hopefully your Saturday is going great. Um, we've got a ton of stuff to get done since my husband is a truck driver. His weekends are the time we try to get things done and so we've got a lot of uh, projects to get done today. But I will be coming back in and videoing how I'm doing the Instant Pot Greek yogurt. So I will see everybody later. Okay. All right, so I'm back. My uh, Instant Pot just beef, and you can see it says like, like it's trying to say yogurt, R-Y-O-G-T, I think is what it says. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is an optional step. I'm going to turn it back on to boil and set the timer for five minutes. I read this on a couple of uh, blogs that it helps the yogurt stay get thick or make a thicker yogurt and since I'm using 2% milk I'm a little bit concerned that it will um, 
not get as thick. So I'm going to do the optional step, and so I'll be back in like five minutes. Oh, I guess I can show you what I'm going to do first. So I have not, I don't really know if I push. Okay. So I'll set a timer. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, so I will uh, be back in five minutes. Okay, I am back, obviously, I guess, and uh, my alarm just went off. So what I'm going to do is take the lid off. And then uh, what we're wanting to do now is we're going to take the Instant Pot out and we're going to have the milk cool down to 116 degrees. Now, I was just reading another blog, and she was, um, let me unplug her. Uh, she was talking about the film and called it coagulated milk. So much more professional than I am. Uh, my description was pretty pathetic, I guess. Anyway, so now what we're going to do, stop, stop. Why? My husband is distracting me. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. I'm going to sit it right here on my rooster, trim it, and uh, if you want it to cool down faster, I read that you can put your milk, your Instant Pot in an ice bath. Um, I don't want it to cool down really fast right now, I just want to let it sit, and it's going to take about an hour. So, um, let's see, I started this right around 11, it's now 12.30, so I guess that's not uh, too bad, it's only taken about 30 Five thirty-six minutes to get to this point. Go away. Um, this is hot. I'm hoping I can do this on camera and not make a mess. Go away. Ah. Okay. Not too bad, but this got caught over here. So I'm gonna try again. Still caught. Didn't spill. Okay. So I'll show you what it looks like at this point and then all I have is a meat thermometer so let me see what the temperature is right now I guess this is kind of boring watching me watch a thermometer I'm at 167 and 100 170 and it's still going up um, so our goal is to get this down to 116. So I will be back. I will start checking this at about 45 minutes. And then once this is down to where it needs to be, then we'll make sure that I remove the coagulated milk skin off of this because that was nasty. Um, and I only know how to be myself. And I asked my friend, like, whenever she reads something I post, I'm like, how can I make it better or whatever? Because I only know what's in my own head. And so when I read um, that blog and she was just like the coagulated milk layer, and I'm like, wow, uh, I so, so unprofessional. Um, okay, so I'm gonna uh, leave this sitting here on my island. And it, I don't know how long it's gonna take. We have the windows open because it's kind of nice outside, so it's a little warm in here. Um, but if it was, colder it would be uh, probably it'd probably cool down a lot faster so I'm a, anticipating an hour uh, but it could be I guess a little bit on either side of that window and then I'll be back to do the next step and then I will finish um, after that so hopefully this will be uh, I don't know just a couple of hours uh, now if you I think if you have the right size pot I haven't made a gallon yet you can make a whole gallon but that's gonna probably make everything double in time okay and um yes let me see what it is now and then i will uh stop the video and then i'll come back all right it's at one it's still really hot so yeah okay i will be back in a little while oh it already has the film i don't know if you can see on there Ugh. just i remember that yogurt and it was disgusting Anyway, I will be back and we'll finish up our yogurt a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Okay, so uh, 
I'm back and it's 1.15 and I started my first video I think at 11.56. So this is going a little bit faster than I anticipated. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the really, I don't know, I don't know how to, it's just really gross when you're eating a smooth yogurt and then you get some thin, slimy, stringy thing in your mouth. So this is what this looks like and you know, I can't see what you're seeing, but I'm hoping you can see that. So we're going to get that out. And then we'll keep going. Okay, so I'm going to put you over here. Okay, just come in. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to work on getting that, um, what they call it, coagulated milk um, off the top. This is working out pretty good. Oh, I said that and then... Being short is does not help. Okay, so it's out, and I'm gonna verify. Uh, one thing I did notice last time, my uh, bottom of my instant pot does get a little scorched with burnt milk. Okay, so I need to hurry up and get this going so I don't run out of time. Because you don't want your uh, milk to get too cold. So, I'm going to put this back in the pot, or the base, whatever the right word is. And in here, I have two heaping spoons of the yogurt. And I'm going to temper my yogurt by putting some of the hot milk into the uh, bowl with the yogurt. And I'm just going to mix that up, and then we're going to dump it into the Instant Pot. When I was reading how to do this the first time I did this, and I used my yogurt all the time. I used to um, use my crock pot. I used my favorite way to do it was with a styrofoam um, uh, ice chest. I don't know why, but that just always seemed to work the best. I've done it in the oven, and so uh, let's, last time I did this with the instant pot, and I left that skin on. Uh, so disappointed. However, it really, this is so easy. Okay, so this is what the, can you see? I think, yeah. The temper, I just, just did two giant tablespoons of yogurt and then a half a cup of the warm milk. I'm going to dump this in here and whisk it. I'm not going to scrape the bottom because I could tell when I put the thermometer in there that it had some of that scorched milk on the bottom. So I don't want to scrape that up into my yogurt because that would be really nasty. I really anticipated this take a lot longer than it did. I think that's the same way it was last time as well. So basically I'm just running the whisk around and not scraping the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna put my lid on. And then uh, I'm not gonna close the uh, vent. I'm gonna leave the vent open. And we're going to set this for yogurt for eight hours of incubation, but it's not going to take eight hours, but we're going to put it on that anyway, just because that's what I've read. And then probably in about two to three hours, I'm going to start checking the texture and see if it is yogurt yet or not. So I'm going to plug it in. I hope you can hear me. It's not, it shouldn't be too loud out there. They're doing a bunch of yard work. Um, it's a nice day here. Okay. So I have to get out of the shot. Okay. I'm going to push yogurt. So that's set for eight hours and it's not going to take, I can't anticipate, everything has happened really quick so I can't anticipate it's going to take eight hours. So I'm going to check in about two or three hours and then I'll come back when I have yogurt and while I'm thinking about it, because I walk off screen again, okay I'll do it next time, I'll have to find it. I have a, um, I don't know if you can hear me, I had a lawnmower, uh, is it, I think it's a nut bag for making almond milk. That's what I used last time to strain my yogurt to make it into Greek yogurt. So I'll find that and show you what I use. Um, but you'll see how thick it is before I strain it and then how thick it is after I strain it. Okay, and I will be back in, I'm gonna guess, 
I've been wrong on my guesses every time, except for the five minute one. Um, so I'm gonna guess three hours, but it may be uh, sooner than that. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, uh, um, so I'm back uh, for the final time. Well, maybe not the final time if I make Greek yogurt. Um, so this morning, or really this afternoon, I started with a half a gallon of 2% milk that I put in the Instant Pot and I sat it, I set it to boil. And that took 25-ish minutes. And I say that because I set it to boil for five more minutes and it was done within 30 minutes. And then, I can't remember the whole, all the steps, and then we um, took it out and let it cool. And we wanted it at between 120 and 116 degrees. And I hope y'all can hear me. My husband is still outside. Uh, mowing and weeding and it's I, I know it's kind of loud in here but I hope it doesn't um, it, it's not too loud on here um, okay so after it cooled to about 117 degrees I took two tablespoons of my yogurt with the active starters in it and mixed it with a half a cup of the hot milk and then I took the half a cup with the two tablespoons mixed in and put it back into the instant pot and then i carefully whisked it if you remember i said that the uh, the bottom of my instant pot had kind of scorched a little bit with some i could just feel that there was some something on the bottom of the instant pot that was uh, cooked i could just feel it and so then we set it back in here and then i think you can see what time it says Four, I think it says 4.13. So this has been going for four hours and 13 minutes. And I went, I checked it at like two hours and it was nothing but runniness. And I was so worried this was not gonna make. And as I was in here making dinner, I went ahead and uh, checked to see if it had thickened at all. Curly hair, okay. So I'm gonna open it up. And I will sh take a, a shot so you can kind of see inside of here. But that definitely made yogurt. And so this has sat for four hours and 14 minutes now and it has made yogurt. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, set this up to make Greek yogurt. And basically what that means is I'm going to strain as much whey out as I can. I'm gonna try and go live again later, but I don't know. It's 5.30 here and I feel like the sun is gonna be set and so it may not do good for a video. So I'm, I may just be able to take pictures with it. Alexa, cancel. That's my dinner timer. Um, I'm trying out a new recipe and I hope it turns out really well. It's an e-recipe where I'm making papaya chicken. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I, and it's, again, I am not a professional, just a mom trying to eat right. So we'll see if I can um, show you what it looks like in here. I tried earlier and I have no idea what you have seen. I've just been working on my blog today. Okay. So I think you're seeing inside and you can see where I took the spoon. And it has made yogurt and then you have the whey that's starting to separate already. Now I'm sure if you wanted, um, you could let it sit a little longer and thicken up. The longer, am I, if I remember correctly, because it has been years since I have made yogurt, uh, the longer you let it sit, I feel like the tangier it kind of gets. So this to me is thick enough. And I'm not, if you remember, I'm not gonna scrape the bottom because that's gonna be burnt pieces that are gonna come up into my yogurt. So I'm just gonna carefully uh, scoop it into my cheesecloth and then um, I will probably come back and do a real quick live to show you what my cheesecloth looks like with my yogurt in it. It's kind of messy and I have no help because everybody's outside working. Um, but I'll kind of show you how I have it set up and then after a few hours I'll then put it in the fridge. And so I had all my hands on, the only thing you didn't see me do was put my two tablespoons of the yogurt into a bowl. That's the only thing you didn't see. Everything else I've done here live uh, and again, I, I know I'm not a professional. I know like I don't use the right words half the time, uh, but it, 
maybe this will help the average person, I hope. Um, and it's just so easy. Uh, it, I know that making it in your crock pot, in your oven, in uh, a styrofoam ice chest like I used to make, super easy. I've never made yogurt that was this easy in my entire life. So uh, all you need are two tablespoons and you can even use your own um, yogurt. So I have some in my freezer from the last batch I made. Uh, and so what I will do is I'll take a little bit and put it in um, ice cube trays and then store it in the fridge or the sort of the freezer and then when I want to make it I need to know how much each ice cube tray is if it's a tablespoon or a half a tablespoon and then uh, freeze it and then when you want to make your next batch you'll need to thaw it obviously because a frozen cube is not going to help make yogurt um, but it has been super duper easy and uh, you, the person who's making the yogurt, hardly has to do any work. It's just coming to the kitchen and checking here or there, or keeping an eye on your timer. And now we're at four hours and 17 minutes that this has been sitting here. And I've been sitting and working on a computer for all this time. Uh, well, I did make dinner, but whatever. Um, anyway, I'll come back a little bit later and show you what my cheesecloth looks like and as I have it sitting and draining the whey out. And someone shared a link with me on how to make was it ricotta cheese with the whey? I need to investigate that because I didn't do it last time, but I would love to do it this time. Again, I hope this has been helpful for those of you who have watched um, and see how easy it really is to make your own Greek yogurt from scratch. Well, is that, I think it's from scratch. Does that count? Okay, so I know I was just here, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what this looks like. So this is, I'm 99% sure, it's a nut milk bag and so I poured the uh, yogurt and this is what it looks like on the inside I think you can see um, it's not really burnt but there's still some be careful when you walk you're moving the camera um, it's kind of got some sort of uh, I don't know it's definitely cooked down there but I didn't scrape that up and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nut milk bag with the yogurt inside and I'm going to hang this. I hope you can hear me. My son's washing something. My husband's still mowing. Okay. You'll have to be quiet. I don't know if you can hear me at all. Um, so I'm going to hang this from the cabinet and then put something hard, hard, heavy on the string as I suspend it. And I already have, I'm going to put this over here so you can maybe see. Yeah, you can see. I already have a few tablespoons maybe. Maybe a half a cup of uh, the whey already in here from my Greek yogurt or from my yogurt. If you don't have one of these, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, but back in the day, I just ate regular yogurt. I didn't, um, hold on, my, my hand uh, is wet from the yogurt. Um, I would just eat the yogurt. It didn't, but eating the way I eat now, I kind of want it to be uh, Greek yogurt. You can use coffee filters is one thing that I've seen people do. Um, I think even paper towels, but that would be kind of iffy. I would just suggest if you don't have this to start with coffee filters, if you have coffee filters. I bought this on Amazon a long time ago whenever I thought I was going to make Serene's almond milk that I never made. Maybe I made it once. Maybe once. Um, and this has just been sitting in my cabinet since this whole thing started and I started making my own yogurt. So super, it really is super easy and it's super cheap. Um, the cost of milk is less than $2. And if you keep reusing your own yogurt that you make, it's what $2 for, it won't make a gallon of Greek yogurt because you strain out the whey. But I'm at least gonna come back and show you um, the picture of what it looks like after it's strained. But this will probably sit for, I'm going to guess, at least two hours, and then it'll make um, thick uh, Greek yogurt. Again, I hope this is helpful, um, and I will be posting my recipe uh, later, but it really is. It's just two, a half a gallon of, of milk to two tablespoons of your yogurt starter, and that's it. It's all you need. And you don't have to have an Instant Pot, but it really is the easiest way that I have ever made yogurt in my entire life. All right, I hope your Saturday is going well and I hope this was helpful. Until next time, bye.